Hey everyone, meteorologist Karen Jeremy here with this week's Snow Country Snowcast. Let's dig in because we've got an active scenario both in the western United States and in the east, um, and even in the middle portion of the country, Midwest, also have a couple of potential systems to watch down the road. In Canada, your January thaw, just about done. The cold weather returns, and therefore so does the snowfall. So let's uh, dig in first looking at the current conditions. This is the snow depth across the U.S. We're doing really well. A lot of our ski areas just thriving this season, uh, both out west and again right through the Midwest and northeast we've got plenty of snow on the ground and winter certainly still going strong here for this forecast week quick look at our overall setup in the atmosphere this is looking way up high in the atmosphere and just kind of the overall pattern that we finished off january so we had a pretty cold and somewhat active east and great lakes region whereas the west kind of finished off on a somewhat tranquil note we had of course one little system uh, come through idaho montana and also in Wyoming to finish out the month. What's going to happen as we go forward for this week is we get another trough developing out west, which again kind of means a colder and more active scenario, and same in the east. We still have that troughing, so those are the two regions where we'll be watching for the largest snowfall. So let's first start in the west. We have just kind of this train of moisture coming in, several uh, disturbances coming in with a lot of moisture. What you're looking at here kind of orient you because not everyone's used to looking at forecast models but uh, you kind of see the outlines of the states here here's uh, California here's Oregon here's Washington and what you're looking at are each system is each system coming in the green indicating rainfall the blue indicating snow so you kind of see the snow lining up along the Cascades and right down the Sierra Nevada is going to be another big shot of snow here coming in the days ahead to especially California but you'll also notice how that snow trickles all the way into Idaho uh, western Montana Wyoming as well going to get some big snow in the Teton range looking forward for the next few days. This is the forecast snowfall map from the National Weather Service. Just a nice outline. I always like to show you this because they do a great job with graphics and uh, notice those red shaded regions. That's one to two feet. So that's for a lot of those higher, highest peaks. Again, Cascades down to the Sierras over to the Tetons and up into the Bitter Roots as well for Idaho should be a great stretch here. This takes us through Saturday, February 4th. Uh, could put a couple of best bets for you there, but really with uh, all this new snow, there's going to be a lot of great stuff out there to enjoy through the end of the week and the weekend. Let's go east into the Midwest. I mentioned again it's kind of an active setup continuing here. Quick look at that snowfall map from the National Weather Service. You'll notice no big widespread swath of snow but these little heavier pockets especially just downwind or just east of the Great Lakes. That's because we have that cold air funneling right over the lakes. It picks up all that Great Lake moisture and then dumps it downwind or again off to the east. So that's probably where you'll find some of the best bets this time around kind of an upslope component here across the Green Mountains. Watch for places like Jay Peak, even Stowe could be really excellent there. And anything in the Adirondacks or even down toward the Tug Hill, you may find some really decent conditions. Again, this takes us through Saturday for that snowfall map. What we do want to watch for is um, two quick moving systems here to add up that snow that we just saw plus another one coming early next week. They're called clippers. They're just kind of weak, quick moving systems. They just drop a little light coating of snow and we've got two of those that push out of the Midwest. That takes you uh, into the Northeast eventually. They kind of move west to east. And also just to notice on this map, again, orient yourself. Here's Michigan. There's that system pushing right up through the Great Lakes. That's also going to uh, bring some new snow for parts of Canada, Ontario, and also Quebec, some ski areas there. We'll see those generally light totals, but hey, a little bit to kind of soften up the, uh, the uh, ski areas. So that's some great news. So again, in recap, we've got a, a nice looking stretch here. Winter going strong for really both coasts and uh, looks to be that way right them into the middle of the month, which of course we'll cover in next week's snowcast. As always, thanks to our Linden State College students, Christopher, Amanda, Scott, for your weekly contributions. Always appreciate your help. For you at home, have a great time out there. Slopes look great as we start off February.